Okay, here's another example that I'll work through, and it's a simple one. It's the decomposition of ethanol. Now, the experiment's been run on four occasions, and we've played with the concentration of the ethanol, and we've got different rates. So I'll just take, make my life easier, I'll just take the first and second experiments. The concentration has been altered by a factor of two, and the rate, though, has altered by a factor of four. So what we're dealing with in this case is a second order reaction. So if I have to write out the rate expression, the rate equals k, which is the rate constant, multiplied by the concentration of ethanol. Now because it's second order, I'm going to square it. Now the second part is to calculate the value of k, which of course is the rate constant. So I've just got to rearrange this equation to make k the subject. So k will be equal to the rate divided by the concentration of my ethanol. Remember, of course, that it's squared. Now what I can do is take any one of these four experiments and pick the data. So I may as well take the fourth experiment. And the rate, well, it was 0 0.320 moles per litre per second. Concentration, 0 0.40 moles per litre course got to square it because it's second order. Just go to the calculator, put that in, and we've got a value of 2 litres per mole per second. 